Hello guys, and this is the Russian Genius, and I'm going to be teaching you one of the best, one of the most flexible moves that you can do as a control and as a color change. I'm going to briefly explain it and talk about it, and then I will talk about where you can learn it in more detail, if that's what you want. So let's say the selection is the King of Spades. So the king of spades is going to go inside the center of the deck and this is the color change. So as you can see, six of hearts on top of the deck and if I just shake, it changes into the king of spades. Let me show you this once again. So uh, eight of spades is the selection inside the center and simply by shaking the deck, it jumps all the way on top. This move can also be used as a control, so this is the color taint. As a control, it looks like this. So a card is stopped at, let's say it is this one, the spectator looks at it, and this is the queen of spades in this case. They look at it, and then you dribble the cards in the center, and now it is on top. I just want to say I learned this from Alex Pandrea. This move is made by Chad Nilsson and it's called the Clip Shift. This move is really flexible and can be used for a lot of stuff. Click the link in the description if you want to see where I learned it. As I said, I learned it from Alex Pandrea from his video that was posted on YouTube. And that's the reason for why I'm going to briefly explain it. If you want a full detailed tutorial, then you are able to buy the explanation from the original creator. Link in the description from that as well. You're going to be holding the deck in this position. First, I'm gonna show you how it looks like without explaining it, and then I'm going to quickly explain it. From this angle, it looks like this. You are taking the bottom card, and you're placing it on top, and then quickly you're squaring it up. And you can do this as a two-handed color change, which looks like that, where you twist the deck and it changes. There are a lot of variations. You can even one-handed tankai the palm. So if you want, you can do that and then place it on top and make it taint. This is called the clip shift because you are supposed to clip the card in between your pinky and ring finger and you're supposed to be able to do it silently which I have never been able to do. You're going to be holding the cards deeply just like this. So your index finger is on top and the other fingers there at the bottom and the thumb is right there. The tips of the fingers are going to go down and grab the card and your thumb is going to hold tightly so you only grab one card from the bottom and not more. You grab it like this. It is being pivoted by the middle finger so the middle finger is holding the deck and the ring finger and pinky finger are holding the cards and when you pull it even more down then you're able to surpass the deck with the use of the index finger by pulling it forward like that and then placing it on top. You are using these two fingers to pull the card, you are using the thumb to pull the deck forward, kinda like the scissor cut. You take it down, and my fingers are pulling the deck forward, pulling this backwards, and your index finger is going to push the deck so the card can surpass it and now my knuckle is on top of the card and I'm using these two fingers to square it up like that and when you do it in speed then it looks like this what I like to do is that I like to do it and once it's surpassed then I like to stop for a moment and then do the rest of the move after the card has surpassed it so that's how it's done this is a quick brief explanation as I said before I learned it from a great magician named Alex Pandrea link in the description if you want to check it out uh, this is made by Chad Nilsson a he can do this really good and silently. I also like to bend the deck and then take the card after the bend and the more you practice this the better you of course become and also you are able to do it silently 
which is extremely difficult in my opinion at least you are able to clip the card and then kinda get it silently through the top of the deck it is difficult of course also i want to say this move can be used for a lot of stuff it is quite flexible indeed as a control a card is selected all that place it in the center and then it is on top so it's a great move really cool and i really do enjoy it i've also seen people use it as a palm so like this nine of spades at the bottom do the clip shift and then you're able to tank i palm the card that's all i wanted to share that's all i wanted to show you guys Thank you really much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my second channel right there. Make sure to buy some merch right over there if you want to. It looks really good indeed. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.